Okay, so we are told we have two similar cuboids, which means one cuboid is a direct enlargement of the other. This, In this case, A is a direct enlargement of B. And we're told what the surface area of A is. So I can just draw in the diagram so that I'm clear which surface area I have and which one I need to get. So I need to get the surface area of B. So the way of doing this is to work out what the linear scale factor is first. And that is a big length over small length. And the two lengths need to be uh, corresponding, so they need to be the same location. We have that in this question. We have this bottom one here and this bottom one here. And we're trying to work out what we times the 12 by to get to the 54, essentially. So it would be 54, which is the big length, over 12. And get my calculator out. 54 divided by 12 is 4.5. So the linear scale factor is 4.5, but the area scale factor is the linear scale factor squared. So it's 4.5 squared. So 4.5 squared is 20.25. Now, 20.25 is what I do to this area to get to this area. So I times by 20.25. But we're going the other way. We're going from big to small. So instead of timesing, we're going to do 1012.5 uh, divided by the area scale factor. So 1012.5 divided by 20.25, and it gives me the answer of 50. So the answer to this question is that B has a total surface area of 50. Now, a real common mistake with this is um, to think of this as volumes and to cube it and work out the volume scale factor. Whenever we're working with areas, it's always just an area. It's always the linear scale factor squared, not cubed. We can kind of ignore the fact they're 3D. And if you just imagine that we're working with the nets of these two cuboids, um, and we can just get rid of the 3D-ness in total completely.